hi guys i do hope everyone is doing great in this video we will be doing a relaxer retouch and we will be timing ourselves to see how long it took us to do our relaxer retouch this video was requested so i'm so happy to make this video the first thing i do is get my client's card and on that card i will find when was the last time I relaxed her hair, what I used, and if there is anything else that I need to remember, it would also be noted on the card. Let's go ahead and section off the client's hair. We are sectioning her hair into four quadrants like we would normally do. you guys what I'm using here is a post treatment that I got from a kit relaxer earlier on in the day no you guys this is necessary and it's important to me because my client hair is colored I like to coat color treated hair before I apply the relaxer because I do not want any of the relaxer to touch her color so I really like to use a conditioning treatment or any form of moisturizing creamy treatment just to coat that hair just in case any relaxer gets on it. By the time I take it off, it should be good. So this is, this is a good idea. Worse if your client's hair is colored. You can do it if your client's hair isn't colored as well, but if your client's hair is colored, I highly recommend and make sure that you're not getting that creamy substance on the new growth. This should only be put on the hair that is already relaxed. And you guys, if I didn't have that little post relaxer treatment I would have used my red cane or soft treatment now you guys I'm about to set my timer and I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes And now we begin to apply our relaxer. I have other relaxers on my channel that I am explaining the process. I won't bother to explain in this one, but remember that I am going to be running this video on real time. So if you'd like to see another um, detailed relaxer application, please go ahead and check out um, my other videos, okay? So I'll just allow this to run so we can make sure that the timing is corresponding. This is real time, no speed, no nothing. All right, you guys, just letting you know that. So I'll allow you to watch the video and I'll stop talking. Now you guys, please, if you have any suggestion as to what video you'd want to see, please comment it and let me know and I will be sure to make a video on that topic. All right, so, let's quickly talk about the importance of writing down the things that you need to remember where your client relaxers treatments stuff like that is concerned it's very important because we cannot always rely on or add to remember everything some days we will be on the ball we will be clicking but some days we just cannot remember all of these things and if you have a lot of clients then there's no way you'll be able to remember what all of them use and what you do on all of them so when you keep a card or keep a book or you know you can 
you can even use your smartphone you can use a tablet but i am old school so i like pen and paper and i like books so you can you know take notes write the client's name write the dates when they relax the dates if they did a protein treatment the date when they color because you don't want to color your client's hair this week and three weeks pass and then the clients call you and say hey i need a relaxer and then you said yeah sure coming you didn't even remember when was the last time you relaxed her hair but then you go ahead and you relax her hair and then you realize oh my gosh the client here is falling out because we just did a color treatment now we're doing a relaxer or something like that you know if you had a card system you would have just pull her up and then you'd have seen that hey i just colored your hair three weeks ago we have to wait three more weeks before we can relax your hair that's that type of thing that would that in that way you will be saved so please if you haven't already um start taking notes and if you have please comment and let me know if you do and how much it helped and why you you decided to start doing it So you guys the back was done in exactly five minutes that's just application got some relaxer on her scalp and I'm quickly taking that off.
Guys, my client had to work, so I had to work around her glasses until it was time for me to ask her to take it off. And you guys, one tip that I want to give you, whether you are an upcoming stylist, whether you are an Aspire stylist, whether you just do hair from home or you do your family members hair, one tip I want to give to you is that when you go in to do a relaxer, you, you, you do not have to start the exact place all the time. What you can do is to just quickly, briefly check the client's um, Head, the new growth and see if there is anywhere in her head that has coarser hair and if so then you're going to start from there if not then you can go ahead and start from anywhere where the client has finer hair which is mostly like the hairline the back um, do not start to apply the relaxer there You guys, I finished applying the front. It took me six minutes. I have nine minutes left on my timer.
And guys, one more tip that I have for you, a very important one, is that when you go to the stores to buy your relaxers, please check expiry date. Please check the expiry date on the relaxer. It's very important. Okay, I would love to give you guys a story time on that. So if you would like to hear that, please leave a comment type in story time so I will know that you guys are interested and I hope that the person who requested this video to see how I get to relax my clients here in 20 minutes I hope you learned something from this video and I hope that you from here go on to relax your clients here in 20 minutes because you can do it um, and if you find that it is not happening for you, what you can do is to relax your clients here in twos, meaning relax half of it first, the back half first, make sure that that is processed, rinse it out and then go on the top. That is a great way to make sure that the relaxer is not onto the hair for too long. But I'm sure after this video, you will be able to relax your clients here too in 20 minutes. And if you have any other question or concern, I got you girls. So just reach out to me.
you guys that is it i still have one minute remaining on my 20 minutes timer so between application and going through her hair once it that took me 19 minutes now you guys if your client here is resistant then this is the time you're going to quickly go through it with a comb or the second time when i went through it with my brush again you could have been doing that with a comb just to stretch the hair a little just in case you needed it but my client never needed that so i didn't have to do that but as i said if you needed to do that you would have the second time after you've applied that's when you would have gone in with your comb no guys even though the timer went off i still checked my clients hair to see if it is processed however if your clients hair isn't processing that 20 minutes you will have to leave it on for a little more if it's not burning their scalp it's not one size fit all so some some hair is harder or more difficult to process so if your clients hair isn't processed then you don't have to rinse it off if it's not burning their scalp okay and you guys i'm just giving her her regular trim You guys, I would normally set her hair, but today she was running out of time, so I had to blow dry her hair and flat iron her hair. You know, you guys, when you are flat ironing, relax here. Make sure that your flat iron is no higher than 220 degrees Celsius, and you you only need one pass. And guys please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up please subscribe if you have not already and turn on your post notification bell and please tell a friend to tell a friend because if you find this video helpful and you've learned something from this video then i'm sure that you know someone who would really appreciate this video okay so please don't forget to share the video and Please don't forget to like the video you guys liking the video is really 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 a good thing to do it really helps me out because youtube then push the video so more people can see the video
and this is the finished look you guys thank you so much for watching the video i hope you got value and i will see you in my next one bye